Hi guys. Today we're going to be reading the story called Dealing with Feelings from the ULS curriculum. As you know, and hopefully you remember, we're talking about feelings and emotions this month. So this story is called Dealing with Feelings. Some words we're going to learn from this story are bored. So that's a feeling of not having interesting things to do. And I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with feeling bored at home. I know that when I was your age, I often told my parents I was bored. Now as an adult, I really wish I had times that I felt more bored because life is so busy. So, you know, maybe kind of cherish that feeling of being bored because there's always a whole lot of stuff you could be doing. Another word we're going to talk about is upset. That's a feeling of sadness, anger, worry, or fear. A lot of us have felt upset. I'm sure almost all of us have felt upset at some point in our life. Another word that we're going to talk about is being relieved. That's no longer worried or afraid. So for example, I was kind of upset thinking about how I had to get a tooth pulled recently because I have to get um, an implant. And then once I got the tooth pulled, it really wasn't that bad. And I was kind of relieved that it was over. It really wasn't that bad. And I was kind of worrying over nothing. So some things to learn from this story. It's okay to feel bored, sad, or upset. It's okay to feel your emotions. We all feel those things at some point in our life. Talking to someone can help you feel better if you are upset. So hopefully you have a person in your life that you may be able to talk to when you're sad or upset. Hopefully there is even somebody at school that you could talk to. You could talk to me, Joanna, Ed, any of the people at school, or if there's a family member that you could talk to, that would be wonderful. Another tip is you can control how you deal with your feelings. So, you know, if I'm upset, it's not really okay for me to knock stuff off the table. It's not really okay for me to hit people, right? I'm okay to feel upset, but there's better ways for me to express that than yelling or hitting or destroying stuff. So we have to think about what are some things that I can do when I'm upset that may calm me down or may make me feel better that aren't destructive. So Alaya is at home tonight. Alaya feels bored. Like I said, you guys have probably all felt bored at home from time to time. Alaya misses her friends. Alaya feels lonely. Especially right now, it's probably a time that most of us feel lonely because most of us are just kind of at home to keep safe from coronavirus. Alaya does not like feeling bored. Alaya does not like feeling lonely. She will sneak out. Uh-oh. I really hope this isn't something you've ever had the thought of doing. Remember how we talked about it's important that people know where you're at? Because what if an emergency happened and you didn't have a cell phone or a way to contact somebody that you're hurt or in trouble? And if people don't know where you're at, then they don't really have a way of checking up on you. Elia sneaks out the back door. She sees her brother, Tom. Tom asks her where she is going. She is not allowed to go out. Uh-oh, that's even worse. She got caught. Her brother caught her sneaking out. Alaya is crying. I miss my friends. I am bored, Alaya says. Tom gives her a tissue. Alaya wipes her tears and her nose. So it seems like Tom might be a good person for her to talk to. She's kind of expressing why she's upset. And sometimes just talking to somebody makes you feel better. It is hard to not see friends. Staying at home can feel boring. Tom asks, 
how can you make it better? So what's a way that you think that Aliyah could make this situation better? If she can't talk to her friends and that's what she wants to do and she's bored, what could she do? Aliyah and Tom write some ideas down. She could do a puzzle, go for a walk, cook a recipe. Those are all good ideas for maybe not feeling bored. My first thought, if she's missing her friends, maybe she could call them on the phone or video chat with them or write them a letter. So Eli and Tom write more ideas, video chats, write emails, phone calls. See, those are all the things I thought of. Aliyah feels calm now. There are many things she can do to feel better. Tom tells Aliyah to choose something. Aliyah looks at her list. She asks Tom to cook spaghetti together. Of course, he says. Aliyah smiles. Aliyah is happy she talked with Tom. Aliyah is happy she made spaghetti. Aliyah is happy she spent time with Tom. Aliyah is happy she did something to feel better. So here are some tips from the story. If you feel sad or upset, try to figure out what is making you feel that way. Once you know what is wrong, make a list of things that can help you feel better. Choose to do something to make you feel better. So it's important, sometimes we're sad or upset and we might not even know why, but it's kind of important to think about why that might be. So once we know what's wrong, you can make a list of all the things that might make you feel happier. And our list would look a lot different because I like some stuff that you guys don't like and vice versa. And then you can choose one of those activities to make you feel better. We find. So here is our comprehension questions. So the first one says, what is this story about? Feelings, shopping, or vehicles? Circle the answer you think is correct. Number two, who does Aliyah miss? Teacher, friends, or puppy? Circle the answer you think is correct. Number three, what is Aliyah doing when she's sad? Dancing, reading, or crying? Circle the answer you think is correct.
Number four, what do Aliyah and Tom do to help Aliyah feel better? Write some ideas, shop for groceries, or take medicine? Circle the answer you think is correct. Last question, question number five. What is important to know about this story? It is important to wear a seatbelt. Always remember to clean up after yourself or choose to do something to make you feel better. Circle the answer you think is correct. I hope you enjoyed this story today called Dealing with Feelings. I hope you learned a little bit about your feelings and your emotions because we all feel upset at some point, we all feel bored at some point, and we all feel relieved sometimes. Have a great day, guys.